Hello. If you haven't seen, uh, like, a, if you just haven't seen much of Steven Universe and you don't know much about fusions or you don't know a lot of the fusions that happens, there's a mild spoiler alert there because I will be talking about some in detail uh, in this video. So, uh, hello. I made a post about this on Steven Universe Amino. If you want to go to that, the link is in the description. Hello, uh, me and some friends have thoroughly discussed what makes a stable fusion. I feel like it's really interesting and I've decided to make a post on the Amino and video about what makes a stable, healthy fusion and I've titled this a theory because it's not official as far as I know, just our logical thoughts based on what we see in the show through fusions. Voice. So, let's start with the most obvious trait of a fusion. The voice. Almost all fusions have their own individual voice actors slash actresses, usually musicians. Even Alexandrite and Sukhlai have their own, and those are two of the most unstable fusions, which I will touch on later. If it has its own voice actor, it's functional. However, this doesn't always happen. The tipping point, voice-wise, is when they don't get a new voice actor. Malachite is a perfect example. For Malachite, they combined Jasper's voice with Lapras's voice, and whoever was like speaking at the time would be louder, but they were talking at the same time. What are you doing? I'm done being everyone's prisoner. That's not healthy. <laughs> size. Another big quality that can tell you how stable a fusion is it happens to be the size. It sounds weird, but hear me out. Think of Garnet. Garden's basically a tall person, nothing abnormal. That's because Garnet is a pretty stable, healthy fusion. Same with like Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz is about like average size between Amicus and Steven. But then if you think of like Malachi, Alexandrite, Sugali, or even like Sardonyx, they are all absolutely enormous. Color. The last trait is color. If a color is a nice balance between the colors of the gems who fused, this is perfect. However, if the color leans more towards one regular than the other, there is some unbalance. Uh, for example, Sugli is much more of an amicus color. Uh, this shows that Amicus is the one with the more control over the situation. And, uh, I compared Malachite's color to Peridot and found that Malachite, which much more of like a blue-green color, probably because Lapis was the one controlling Malachite the most. Now, if that sounds hard to calculate, do not worry, because I made a chart. I actually did this. I made a chart that can show you how stable a fusion is by adding up the points. Uh, it's just one to nine points. So, uh, normal sized is one point. Big sized is two points, enormous is three points. Balanced color is one point, slightly imbalanced is two point, and heavily imbalanced is three points. And then if you have a new voice actor, it's one point, and combined voices is three points. And um, if it is three points, then that is a perfect fusion, that's like Garnet. Yeah, if it's like four to six points, uh, then it's decent, and if it's six to eight points, it's bad, and if it's nine points, that's just horrible. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and remember to go to the description if you want to read this on the Steven Universe Amigo not sponsored. Goodbye! Ha! Stay derpy, stay murpy, stay hydrated, stay subscribed, eh? And goodbye.